afternoon and welcome. Welcome to the beehive. Well, what can I say? <laughs> it's still crazy here. It's still crazy. And we are even making our lives more crazy. Yeah, lots to share today. Um, not, oh, oh, I was hoping that we could stitch together, but Boy, has it been difficult. Um, we're at the point in our move where we have a lot of our lives unpacked, but we are trying to live our life now as we unpack. It's like, G found his underwear. <laughs> We've got toilet paper. And so it's a matter of trying to continue to organize and unpack. But look at this. Look at this. I'm going to turn this off. Potential spam. Potential spam. I tell you, it's um, potential spam. It's bad when they even tell you that it's uh, that it's possibly spam. But um, where was I? Okay, G found his underwear. Yeah, that was important. Um, we found the toilet paper, and uh, and so we're unpacking boxes as we are trying to start to live our day to day life which you just have to do it. I mean, you can't totally just stop living and unpacking because we could unpack forever. And as I've said before, this house, when you move from one house to another and it's configured differently, you have to figure out how you're going to live in that house. So there's a lot of that going on. On top of all of that, we have decided to sell our beloved, con now look at this, now it's coming out of Florida. They're really bugging me today. Um, so we have decided to, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> sell our beloved condo. Oh, I can't tell you. I can't tell you, it's, we love that condo. Our family loves that condo. But it no longer makes sense for us in our lifestyle because we're still into camping mode. And we literally live not even 15, 20 minutes from the condo. So it makes no sense to have it. Even if I really want it, it makes no sense to have it. And um, so we met with the realtor yesterday. And what that means is that we have to stage the condo, which means we have to get all our stuff, our personal stuff out of there. So we're moving again. Oh my God. I don't know. I, can't, I was so stressed. You know, I deal with a little bit of an anxiety issue anyway. And after we met with the realtor yesterday and um, realized that we have to start bringing the stuff from the condo here. And where are we going to put it so that they can take pictures of it and um, put it on the market? Oh, man, I know I'm going to miss that condo like you cannot believe it. It is like the most perfect treehouse there is. It has the perfect parking spot, storage unit. Oh, and the view of the Portland Art Museum and that historic church and the South Park blocks. It's just, oh, I could go on and on, but... And I asked G again this morning because he left to go to the condo to pick up more boxes. 
Well, I stayed here and kept organizing here. Um, I asked him, I said, are we, are we doing the right thing? And he said, yes. He said, there's no reason to have that condo when we live basically almost in the same neighborhood. So I know it's going to be hard, but yeah, by next week it'll be on the market. So here we're moving two spots. Do you see how this is happening? It's like this big snowball. This big snowball. One move caused another move, caused another move. Yeah, and we're not done yet. So that's why if I look a little tired, I am tired. <laughs> I am so tired. I wish I could, um, you know, like, like uh, bewitched, just like a do my nose and it it would be done that would be my uh, dream come true yeah so there isn't going to be a whole lot of stitching for a little bit anyway but i did yesterday get my hexes out and prepped this week's hexes and i'll show you those and i found four hexes um four hexi blocks that I had partially stitched and hadn't stitched down, so I'm going to finish those. And this is how I'm going to approach my hexes, because I'm so far behind. I don't want to be stressed by my hexes. So I'm going to start with this week, start prepping the hexes weekly, and then as I can fit in, I'm going to go back a week, because I saved all the the themes on my calendar on my phone and um, I'm gonna work on catching those up in between moving forward uh, so this week's um, theme was fancy and I thought there's nothing more fancy I probably can't show you this totally because it's not stitched down but um, this is a a fancy china teapot with teacups because there's nothing more fancy than high tea and then I found this fabric and that it was a dog fabric and there's nothing more fancy the center block is a dog with bows in her hair so there's nothing more fancy than a dog with bows in her hair and a Dresden plate quilt so the outside blocks are the Dresden plate so I have those prepped I just need to stitch them down and when I'll be doing that sometime this week um, we have been like falling into bed we have been fighting fighting to stay awake till nine o'clock at night but let me tell you we're exhausted every day and tomorrow we get to have our middle grandson um, for the day i'm going to pick him up and then his dad will come pick him up when he's done with work and um so we're we're trying to get that pattern of life in the reason that we moved uh, it's just that we have to sell the condo on top of everything else we're doing. That is such an awesome, awesome spot. I, I'm going to miss it, and I know the family is going to miss it. I thought I would show you, I did get a bundle from um, my mailbox down in Sisters, and so I wanted to share that with you. Um, I, you can't really see this, but Shelly, who is um, the producer of the quilt show, uh, sent me <laughs> a Christmas card that um, has all of her critters. Uh, can you see that? All of her critters on there. And um, she has bunnies and kitties. Yeah. So, yeah, she couldn't really get masks on her critters, though. They were non-compliant. Yeah. And then this card was from Cassie. Cassie Jo Stitches. Cassie Jo Stitches on floss tubes. So you can 
you can check her out. And she included a couple of flosses in there, Christmas flosses. I'll share this again on, on um, Stitch Roadies. And then one of the Twisted Sisters, this card is the cutest. It's kind of a dimensional card, you know, like the wreath is dimensional. Um, Mary, who is one of the Twisted S Sisters, <laughs> I love them. Um, she sent me, sent me these ornaments that she made. She is so talented. You've seen her stuff on my channel before because she has made, like, she made that fabulous bag and, uh, well, they're all super talented. But she does these stuffed animals like you wouldn't believe. But get a load of this ornament. Stink, stank, stunk. 2020. His Heart grew three sizes that day. And look at, he's holding, can you see he's holding a mask? <laughs> oh, this is like cherished, cherished. And then from Renee, a, a lovely letter, a lovely letter, a lovely card, and she sent along this 2020 Christmas ornament. I can't wait to decorate my tree next year. I did not even have the energy to decorate my tree this year. I, um, or in 2020, I put it up. And turn the lights on. And that's all we did. <laughs> but this has our name. It's personalized. G and Anna. Our year of quarantine. Quarantina. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Renee. Thank you so much. The kindness of... I just can't get over the kindness and then this was unbelievable. This um, came from Connie. Connie's in Texas. And this kind of blew me away. Um, I just don't want to get everything mixed up for myself because my brain is not working very well these days. But wait till you see this. I have to open it to show it to you. It's a necklace. Oh, is it ever beautiful? It's um, a bee. Do you see that? It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look. It's going to be perfect with this shirt. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Is it every pretty? Oh. It has my name on it. Oh my gosh, it's even monogrammed. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I have gotten through this end of the year because of all of you. All of the kindness, all of the comments. I have not been able to respond to the comments. I just couldn't keep up. I tried and... I just couldn't keep up. But no, I want you to know that I read each and every one of them and that I will be better in, in, in the future. <laughs>
It's just that I cannot go back and um, catch up. I feel like I'm on this little treadmill. Um, so I got this package from Judy Lindros. Oh, I shouldn't have said her last name, should I? But I was really tickled because it was two kits. One for me and one for you. One for you. Best of luck in your new home. What a blessing to be close to family. Here's a kit for you to keep and one for you to give away. And it is the sweetest, sweetest kit. It's by Primitive Gatherings. And it is a quilt shop. A quilt shop. And it has all the wool in it. And the fabric for the uh, background. But there it is. I get one and you get one. So... If you're interested in this giveaway, be sure you're a subscriber and put in the comments, my favorite quilt shop is, and quilt shop will be the word of the day. And then tell me what your favorite quilt shop is, because G and I hope to hit the road soon, you know, and we want to... We want to go camping, and that's why we're trying to, in some ways, simplify our lives uh, by selling the condo. Because um, we don't need, we don't need that, and we want to get in the van. We both want to get in the van, and um, when I'm done here, I'm making some reservations down the road, um, and we are looking forward to once the we can. You know, the snow is kind of damped down. We're hoping to get down to Tucson again and see our friends down there. Um, yeah. But we chose a nice community. We're really happy here. Uh, happy in Happy Valley. I know that sounds... What a cheesy girl she is, huh? But uh, we're very happy here. And then... Um, hope to keep it our fingers crossed for the 2021 Sisters Outdoor Quilt Show. Um, hoping to get our vaccine and just praying that all of you are safe and healthy and looking forward to meeting up for coffee again. Oh, it's just so challenging, so challenging um, to not have that uh, connection, you know, not have that connection. So, thank you for stopping by. If you stay tuned till the very end, I will have the name of the winner of the three primitive gathering blocks that I stitched. So stay tuned, and thank you for entering. And don't forget to tell me your favorite quilt shop so I can figure out how to go there, okay? Thanks. You take care. And keep your fingers crossed that our condo sells. Thank you. Bye.